This is the new paramotor, and in this video, we're gonna unbox it. But before we do that, quick backstory. So I sold my Scout um, about a month ago. While my Scout was up for sale, the guys at Fly PPG Discovered Powered Paragliding reached out to me and asked if I'd be interested in flying a Adventure Pluma. An Adventure Pluma? An Adventure Pluma. Um, and so that's what this is. However, I don't know why there's two boxes and this seems a little bit too big to be a paramotor so I'm guessing there's some other goodies in here so let's dig in I'm really excited to have a brand new paramotor <laughs> all right so first this looks like the spars <laughs> Dig that. How sick is that? Vito box with my name on. Oh, yes. So sick. Vito box, tons of spare parts, extra pull cord, gaskets. Use that for your 100 hour service. A couple more stickers. I have so many stickers I don't even know what to do with. Motor mounts. <clears throat> Brass bushing. Looks like teeth for the uh, pull starter. Spark plug shoe, filters, extra nuts and bolts. This is awesome, man. So sick. <laughs> is it lame that that's my favorite part? <laughs> awesome. All right. The paramotor is next. God, it smells so good. Oh. All right. Apco side mount reserve container. Um, I think a paramotor cover. Stuff sack. Radio chest pack. Sick. Battery charger, because spoiler alert, it is a Moster 185 MY20 dual start. Looks like a bag with the rest of the Pluma parts. Custom Adventure Pair Motors prop covers. Oh, baby. Looks like E prop. I think this is a, I don't know if it's a 130 or a, a 125. Looks looks like a 125. Looks like thicker. But dig that. Pluma. Sexy. Um, and then some carbon fiber cage pieces. That's it for box number one. Alright. So let's open the actual paramotor. So sick. So sick. Here you go, guys. Venture Pluma, all carbon fiber. Super sick. I haven't even undone the uh, harness yet. This is the Apco, I think, not Comfort. Is it the Comfort harness? I think so. So awesome. Exo throttle. Pretty excited about this. 0, 0.0 hours. Brand new. 
Venture pair of motors. This is like a neoprene material. It came mostly assembled. Looks like the guys at um, Fly PPG assembled most of it for me. So I know you gotta put this back plate on. It's this little comfort piece there. Uh, these bars. So this is something that's curious to me. So um, I don't really know how these work all that well, but this is their um, solution to torque compensation. So um, I'll be curious to check this out in the air. I heard you gotta get used to it, um, but once you do, I guess the guys that, that fly these really like it, so we'll see. Um, as you guys know, the Scout did um, torque compensation dynamically with those fins in the back. So, kind of something you didn't have to think about, but we'll see. So awesome, carbon fiber air box. That is for sure an upgrade. So thanks to the guys at Fly PPG. Moster 185 MY20 ton of upgrades there's a whole bunch of stuff they did to the inside of the motor i'm not going to get into if you guys want to check out um Viterazzi's page they did a whole video on on um, the improvements they did from my19 to my20 the motor i flew prior to this was the just the most 185 plus so it had that like can circular um whatever um air box and it had the old exhaust and this is the big deal for my20 guys that that joint so you guys know they had a ton of exhaust cracking issues. Um, so I'm super stoked to have my hands on a brand new MY20. Look at that. And there's your e-start right there. That is the electric starter motor. Pretty sexy. Cool pockets. Ah, mirror. Awesome. PPG fuel gauge right there. This pocket. And the storage. Oh my god, dude. Whoo, almost dropped it. What a fucking idiot. <laughs> this is why I cannot have nice things. Um, a lot of adjustments to do. I'm not doing that now, but I almost dropped the damn paramotor. Fucking unreal, dude. But yeah, we still got that box to dig into. I have no clue what's in there. And then um, I'm going to assemble this bad boy. Oh my god, look how sexy. <sighs> MY20. Carbon fiber. Oh my god, they didn't slack on the packing. Alright, so it is a custom built car carrier for the Pluma. I had no idea they were sending this, and that is so sick. Looks like it's got. <laughs> put a YouTube sticker on there. So sick. I love it. Looks like a spot for a gas can, and it looks like it fits a VP Racing gas can. Let's check. Oh my god, I love it. Both sides. That's so cool. That's so cool. So yeah guys, this thing looks so sick. This is the custom car carrier they sent me. Um, And again, I did not know they were sending this. But it looks so sick. So they have, look, padlock down here so you can lock this piece on. It's just sitting in there right now. They put custom decals on there for me. This is a shock to me. Surprise. I had no idea about this. So cool, man. Pluma. Another padlock to lock the paramotor in. I'm guessing this will make sense to me once I get the paramotor set up. Uh, where that actually attaches to the motor, but that's awesome. Another YouTube sticker down there. So sick. And it's like two pins and you're out. Now, I usually put my paramotor in the back of my truck, but this is cool because now I can do the uh, break-in on a rack. And just having a rack in general is gonna be awesome. But yeah, it's so sick spot for a gas can. Paramotor sits right on there. Custom decals, unreal. There's still more stuff in here though. Let's dig it. Let's check out. Oh! Looks like a red strap, which will go good with the everything else red. And looks like the rest is packing. Yeah, it is. Back to the cylinder. All right, so it looks like all we have left is what is in this bag right here oh my god yeah 
All right, so these are the um, carbon fiber hoop pieces. This is another upgrade the guys at Fly PPG hooked me up with. But these, yeah, this, these are, I mean, unbelievably lightweight. There's like nothing to them. And it's, it's carbon fiber, it's so rock solid. So thin and lightweight. These, I know what these are, these are the spars. I'm not gonna undo those until I'm ready to assemble it. Okay, so the surprises continue. I go to open up this bag, which I assumed had the spars, which it does. These are carbon fiber spars. Ooh. And looks like I have a brand new windsock. Holy windsock. My God. Whoa. Longest windsock ever. <laughs> All right, windsock, sit. Looks like the bolts and everything for the prop. This brings me to my next amazing thing. Another propeller, excuse me? There's already a prop over there. Looks like they sent me two props. And that one, I don't know if that's the same. Same. We don't talk about this prop anymore. Or this one. This is my wall of props. I keep these two off of it. Oh, don't mix these up, by the way. Idiot. All right, so that's in there. Oh, look at that. This is a sick bag. Try to do it one hand. So you can put, that's an awesome bag, actually. Prop on that side, prop on that side. Together like that. Oh! <laughs> so cool! Thank you guys so much. You guys at Fly PPG discovered Pyro Paragliding Man. Oh! Bit of Rozzy Toolkit. That's awesome! I already have an um, emergency toolkit that I keep on my paramotor, but I'm going to be replacing a lot of that with this. This is custom made for the Bit of Rozzy. MY20, so I'm gonna put that in that new pack. I think that is it. All right, guys, I am officially speechless, and I cannot wait to fire this baby up and fly it. And I'm excited. MY20, baby. All right, so we're not gonna have time to fire it up today or like that. I don't have good gas. I wanna get nice fresh gas, that gas has been sitting there for a month. So I'm gonna get nice fresh gas for the uh, break-in period, but I am gonna assemble today, so um, time-lapse. It's in French. Oh. French side, English side. All right, so here we have it. Adventure Pluma carbon fiber hoop all assembled I have not tightened the net yet so I have to do that but my camera's gonna run out of battery soon so uh, I just wanted to show you guys the 99% assembled product so so far I'm pretty impressed it goes together really easily it's pretty awesome I like the um, position of the pull starter it's up and over my right shoulder which is huge as you guys remember on the scout the scout sits sat like right there or actually it's set over here um, and you can swap this around but anyways it's it's up nice and high off your shoulders you're not going to wear on your strap um, this is another pretty cool feature dig this if you need to get do any motor maintenance or anything pull that down i'm doing this one-handed and this comes right off and this is a kevlar uh, seat back so you can get to your pull starter looks like i can get to um, the starter gear electric starter gear comes right back on there Got an on off switch back here. Looks like that's where the uh, LiPo battery goes and the LiPo safe um, bag there. Again, that's for the e-start, which I'm so psyched about. Uh, and yeah, I mean, that's, that's, that's just the really initial first impressions on this. I don't have much else I can say about it. Like I said, they went above and beyond with the uh, carbon fiber air box. Super stoked about that. MY20, I'm just excited. So actually, I'm gonna throw the prop on there to get one quick view of 
of it with the prop and then um yeah we'll go from there all right so just got the prop put on super sexy so awesome all right guys i'm gonna wrap this one up here uh in the next video we will do the break-in procedure everything like that and i'm gonna have it all tidied up um, but I wanted to thank the guys at Fly PPG, Discovered Power Paragliding. Um, you guys, I, I'm speechless. I don't know what else to say. You guys went above and beyond. All the upgrades, all the extra pieces in case I eat it, and um, customizing it with my name and uh, Instagram and YouTube. Um, I'm, I'm beyond grateful. So thank you guys very much. Everyone else, be sure to like, subscribe, um, follow me on Instagram if you guys want faster updates than what's on YouTube. Oh yeah, actually, follow me on Instagram. Like, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.